Yo, know, what's going on, guys? It's Gamer here, back again, another video, and today I'm going to be finally re reviewing Boruto episode 12. And this episode, the name for the episode is Boruto and Mitsuki. And this video is going to come out really late, probably uh, really, or really early in, in the morning of Friday, uh, towards the afternoon, most likely. And I apologize for that, but that's kind of besides the point. We're here for reasons. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and just try to summarize as best as I can with the knowledge I was able to pick up in the episode for episode 12 even though it felt more like a setup for the next episode which I, I hear that it's supposed to really move up the plot of what the hell has actually been going on right so the beginning of the episode for episode 12 begins uh, with um, a, a training assignments where they have to go through an entire course and over the course of all these other students that went ahead uh, instead of Boruto uh, they all just went ahead and just left their teammates behind and stuff like that and they actually we actually do see Boruto, Mitsuki and Denki on the same team and they're going through the course um, all three of them are doing really really well and then Denki gets to uh, the wall part of the obstacle and he can't do it Boruto decides to help him up, and then um, uh, he falls back down to, towards the ground, but then actually Mitsuki uh, helped him out, got him up, and they actually ended up really failing the class as is anyways, uh, mainly because of the fact that they were just kind of talking a little bit way too much, then I sort of just appreciate, appreciated, and you know, they talked really way too much, so even if they all made it to the end of the course, it, it really wouldn't have been that much of a difference because they all just were, were talking way too fucking much. It was kind of annoying. I was just like, what, why are you talking in the middle of a course? Like, aren't you supposed to go and try to pass, you know, the, the what you're supposed to be doing? And so we actually go back and we see uh, Shino, Konohamaru, and some, 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 I know she was in Naruto and Shippuden, right? But I don't remember her name and she's honestly just that much of a forgettable character so I apologize for not knowing her name but anyway Shino goes ahead and tells them all that they failed and the reason why they failed is because the main objective uh, the main objective of what they were supposed to do, supposed to do was just basically just use teamwork if uh, if you don't use teamwork and all three of you didn't uh, don't make it to the end of the obstacle or the obstacle course then either way and you're just gonna fail even if one of you makes it even if two of you makes it if all three of you don't make it then you're just gonna fail and that was you know kind of it that was kind of just the, the whole rest of that scene and then we actually do see uh, a interaction between uh, Sh Shikadai and Mitsuki and Mitsuki's like uh, do you think I should have left behind Denki when uh, when he when he couldn't get over the wall and she could was just like, I don't know, maybe. I don't I don't know really. And then uh I'm trying to really remember what happened in the episode. I apologize if I'm like stumbling over my words a little bit. It's late at night, people are almost about to wake up uh really early in the morning to go to work and stuff like that. But Mitsuki is just like, do you really think I should have held uh, Denki in in practice earlier? And then well she could die was just like, I don't know, maybe maybe you shouldn't, I don't fucking know. But you can't, uh, but even if you fucking left them behind, you know, you would have failed anyways because that would have meant you abandoned your teammates. And the entire this episode is basically just like a Mitsuki episode. It says Boruto and Mitsuki, but really it was just kind of like a whole, like almost character interaction of Mitsuki and everybody else that was a part of uh, Boruto's class, obviously, and so uh, he interacts with uh, with Shikidai, obviously. Uh, we do see a couple of scenes of uh, Mitsuki in uh, like a rejuvenation tank, almost. And I'm talking about one of those tanks that like Yamato was originally created, and so uh, Mitsuki isn't even like really an artificial person. He's he was artificially created uh, immediately at like around the age of Boruto and everybody else in the classroom. 
we do see a scene of Shino Konohamaru and that one chick, I forget what her name is, and they're all they're all like, oh, who who do you see promising in the class? And they were like, yeah, they all seem promising, and over time, they all seem, they can all seem like very, you know, very, very good and very powerful shinobi. And then I'm gonna go ahead and skip this next scene with Iwabe because it wasn't really that important. It was just mainly him struggling with, I guess, math. And then uh, he just, with no, with no board was like, yeah, no, this is how you do it, you dumbass. And then, <laughs> and then uh, Inogen uh, is talking to Mitsuki and he's like, you've been paying a lot of attention to boards right, uh, lately. And then Mitsuki actually goes ahead and asks Inogen, like, what do you think of him and stuff like that? Why do people gravitate towards Boruto? And then Inogen was just like, he's kind of just an idiot, I guess. It's, uh, people gravitate towards him because he doesn't care what others think. He just makes his own mind and does his own things whenever he does, right? Because people looked at him as the son of the Hokage, and he's being, he's being tired. He's getting tired of Judge because of that reason. So he just tries really hard to see through things his own eyes, and <laughs> obviously, as you can tell in the last uh, like 11 episodes, all that's happened, all because of that, this just caused a lot of trouble. So it's kind of just like him being a troublemaker, but for some reason, people really gravitate towards it. And Inogen actually is talking about how a guy like him is really such a pain, especially for someone for uh, as the class class representative or the class rep Sumire and the next scene we actually do see uh, Mitsuki visit, visit the class rep over at the hospital because she's still there and we actually find out a little bit more about the class rep being the fact that her father was used to be a ninja and for some reason her mother is dead they don't they don't really tell us how she died. They just tell her that she doesn't have family anymore, and neither does Mitsuki. So, so the both of them are actually very sim similar in, in that regard, I guess. And Mitsuki actually asks uh, the class rep, "What do you think of Boruto?" Mitsuki is is telling the class rep that Inogen told him that you might be feeling stress because of Boruto, and and then she's like, "Well, sure, there's a lot of trouble in class, but." Boruto's not bad to have around. He's kind of fun and stuff like that because of his like whole crazy fucking attitude and stuff like that, right? Just because it's, it's Boruto. I, I don't know. And so the next scene, we actually see Boruto and Mitsuki meet up again, and then they actually, Boruto actually takes Mitsuki home for dinner, and then uh, Hinata and Him Himawari are preparing dinner. And then Boruto points out the fact that you don't have to go all out because there's a friend over and stuff like that. And then Hinata's like, well, it's not because you brought a friend over, it's because your dad's actually coming back home early, early today. So, yeah. Dinner with your dad. And how do you feel about that? And then Boruto is just like, it's just being Boruto again. And he's like, oh, I guess I'm just gonna have to deal with that and stuff. And... Mitsuki actually uh, is like, you don't want him around, and then Boruto is like, well, it's not that I don't want him around, it's just uh, it's stuff. Re realistically, Boruto, it's not that he hates his dad, it, he doesn't hate his dad whatsoever. It's just the fact that Boruto hates his dad being the Hokage, and that's really it. And the end scene actually explains what Naruto thinks about the Hokage. And it's really weird because when uh, Shigeda, not Shigeda, I'm sorry, Mitsuki and Boruto actually go up to Boruto's room, he asks, do you hate the Hokage or do you like the Hokage? Uh, they ha the Hinata's like, yo, dinner's ready, they, go they both go down, they're about to have dinner, Boruto, uh, not Boruto, Naruto shows back home, they're about to have dinner, and then uh, Nar Naruto actually let the Shadow Clone back at uh, the Hokage's office, uh, so that way in case anything were to happen or just to do work you know the shadow clone would do it and uh, Shikamaru actually not notifies the shadow clone for board not Boruto, Naruto I'm sorry their names are so fucking similar I apologize fucking Nar Naruto leaves the shadow clone back at the Hokage's office something happens there's this strange really large amount of chakra and uh, spreading across the village 
and stuff like that. And then the Shikamaru is like, just stay home with your family, whatever, da da da, whatever. And then Naruto is like, nah, I, let let me deal with this. This seems like a problem. Let me just go ahead and just head out. And so he depletes the Shadow Clone. Naruto's like, sorry, I have to leave. And then of course, Boruto flips out. He flips out. He's freaking out towards his dad. Like, why do you have to go? Why do you have to be the one to go? Send someone else for a fucking go. And then Naruto tells Boruto the same exact reason behind him leaving all the time. And it's because he's the fucking Hokage and he has to protect the village. And Boruto just doesn't fucking understand that for some goddamn reason. I guess. I don't know. He runs out. He runs away out of the house. Mitsuki follows him. And then the next scene is just Boruto and Mitsuki meeting up with each other. Uh, Mitsuki tells, asks Boruto, do you hate the Hokage and stuff like that. And then Boruto is just like, yeah, I hate the Hokage. The Hokage is stupid and whatever. Right, and Hokage has to abandon his family and do work and stuff like that. Boruto just hates the Hokage and then Mitsuki actually, you know, tells Boruto that he knows the guy behind the ghost incidents and then that's the end of the episode. I guess that didn't really take... I mean, I guess that took a lot longer to summarize the whole entirety of the episode than I thought there was. Not really because a lot of what happened, but just because fucking... I don't, I don't know. It was, I guess it was just... A little bit harder to summarize the episode. I don't. I guess I don't. I don't really fucking know. But whatever. I guess. I, I really don't know. Okay, it was a lot longer to summarize the episode. And I guess I'm just gonna go ahead and wrap up the video here. Uh, if you guys did enjoy uh, the episode. Also, by the way, the animation was the same like the last one. It's kind of eh. Some people's like animation faces, I guess, were a little bit stiff. Uh, all, all, although it is passable, it's a passable episode. I wouldn't say miss out on it, on it and stuff like that because the next episode is gonna a lot more plot induced like stuff in it, and it's gonna be very interesting. I'm very excited, and also just the writing was pretty good. Uh, the music was pretty good, especially the first soundtrack that they used in the very very beginning with Mitsuki was talking to whoever he's talking to I don't recall ever ever hearing that so it sounded pretty interesting I guess but overall for people who are thinking about uh, watching the series for Boruto and are watching reviews just like this all I'm gonna say is, is like yes it's like really boring at times and really stale after a while but next next week's episode is gonna have a lot more plot induced stuff in it so I would say, just for the sake of catching up, I would I would go ahead and just tell you right now to just sit down, uh, watch all 12 episodes that are on Crunchyroll, the link will be down in the description of course, and then just gain as much info and as much stuff as you can about the episode, and then just wait until next Wednesday and when the next episode, being episode 13, comes out. But anyways, if you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to drop a like, and if you're brand new to the channel, please, please be sure to subscribe. And all that other stuff, I'm going to go ahead and end the video. Like I said, I will see you guys in the next video. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. See you later. Peace out.